Savvy cards are digital business cards you share through your cell phone with literally just a few button taps. They don't require app downloads or special software to use either. And they capture the contact information of the person you share them with so you don't have to. That's like getting a free lead tracking system built right in. Savvy cards can be shared online and in person. Because they're digital, you'll never run out. And other people can use them to refer you. But best of all, there are no recurring fees. Get your Savvy Card today and stop paying for business cards now. Get them at SavvyCard.com slash radio. That's SavvyCard.com slash radio. S-A-V-V-Y-C-A-R-D dot com slash radio. Welcome to Smart Health Talk with your host, Elaine McFadden. Take a walk on the wild side Where the birds and the bees survive Right before me, my newfound hippie side Once ignored these conspiracies online Out the window Jumps of the earth. Sign me up now. Make sure you use your smile. Take a walk on the wild side. Will the birds and the bees survive? Would your children lie to see? Welcome to Smart Health Talk with your host, Elaine McFadden. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, you got me, Elaine McFadden, right here to help you get through your day in a way where, hey, maybe you don't move that closer to death a little bit quicker. Okay, maybe that sounds a little bit morbid, but let's face it, we're all going there. And uh, I just assume not get there quicker than I have to. And that's why I've developed the lifestyle that I've developed. It's probably why I became a dietitian to begin with, is I wanted to know everything about food, everything about health, everything about our body and how it works and how we can prevent disease. Because as a dietitian, you have to do, do internships in the hospital and all the rest of you out there that work in the medical field, I know you can relate to what I'm saying. Um, you know, you see things in the hospital and you're thinking... That could have been prevented. And you're watching people suffering. You're watching them face death. And you're thinking, that could have been prevented. And we know now, without a doubt, that lifestyle and diet directly related to your mortality. Maybe um, got a little scratchiness there. Um, yeah, uh, sorry about that, everyone. Uh, we're working on it. And uh, so your mortality, which I just said earlier, I'm here to increase that mortality. But not just that. There's a thing called quality of life. And you can be alive. You could be laying in bed, comatose, not sure if you're ever going to wake up, from a stroke, heart attack, uh, many other things, diabetes. You know, these things can happen, uh, and unfortunately now they're happening more than they ever have in history, and we have obesity at higher rates, we have obesity in our children at higher rates, we have our children getting diabetes when they never got it before. This, this should be, people want to get upset, get upset about what's happening to our kids, Okay. And did you find that video, Nick? Oh, oh no, he's still he's still working. I gotta I gotta get this email over to him because I was going to talk a little bit today uh, about marketing to our kids um, that we have Halloween coming up and we have a huge section 
on our website, smarthealthtalk.com, under resources. And I tell you, that resources section, man, you want to know what seafood to buy. Uh, do you want to know, like, how to lose weight and get healthy? We have our 10 Smart Health Talk resolutions. I mean, there is just so much information on this, including how to shop for snacks and candy for Halloween. Because, hey, I'm not one of those stuffy old dietitians that are going to say, oh, no, no one ever gets anything sweet. Heck no. We have fun around here. And I brought you a little something, Nick. Nick's our engineer here over at KCAA. That's always helping us. And I got a little snack of some of my favorite treats here. And they're made by a, a wonderful company called Tori and Howard. We, have, we do have a couple other companies that we're going to be highlighting, <coughs> excuse me, that we also love. And um, they have new product out, Chewy Fruities. And those of you that ever had Starburst, which is probably about 100% of the people out there <laughs> have had Starburst as a kid, this is an organic Starburst. And just absolutely delicious, no pesticides, you know, no high fructose corn syrup with GMOs and glyphosate that causes cancer. Guess what? This is like a Starburst with none of the yucky stuff in it. Okay, yeah, it's got a little bit of sugar, but, you know, nothing like the other product that we're going to be talking about that got, that is, um, I mean, this one commercial that I found that was marketing uh, that is directly aimed at kids. And you know the junk food industry is targeting our kids in so many different ways. Someone on my Facebook, please go find me on Facebook, everyone, Elaine McFadden, Smart Health Talk. And please subscribe to us on YouTube because I, just like the, the, um, the video that I'm about to play for you, uh, see, I got to find Nick here. I sent him another, I want to send this link to him, uh, that, it's on our Twitter, uh, excuse me, our um, YouTube account, Smart Health Talk, Elaine McFadden, that's where you find it, and okay, I'm getting this link over to Nick right now, so we can play it for you, and when you, when you hear the product that's being marketed to kids directly for Halloween, I mean, this is, okay, I did send that, Nick, I did get that off to you. Um, this is this is just like, I'm just like, you have got to be kidding me. We are pushing this product on kids at Halloween. Like, this is the kind of product we're going to serve at our, at our Halloween parties and that. When I tell you, you want some good Halloween ideas that are, shit, one of the Halloween ideas I had, I mean, it was like... It was like viral Pinterest. <laughs> it was like a, it was like kind of like a human bones laying there, but they had like the drumstick uh, for, you know, that part of the body. And they had all like the body parts were like different pieces of food. It was pretty cool uh, to have for a party. But you can turn this into healthy. You can turn it into organic and have all kinds of great snacks and candies and fun stuff at your party. And then you can just feel good at the end of the day and say, hey, these other people's children that came to a party at my house, I did not expose them to any pesticides. Okay, you, maybe you expose them to sugar, but I tell you, the sugar that's grown organically is not GMO beet sugar. It does not have glyph like glyphosate that a jury in California decided after they heard the evidence, it's cancer causing. Okay, and they heard a lot of scientific evidence as well, and what Monsanto had been up to, which is lying to you. That's right. We got to accept this, people. These, <laughs> they are not honest. These corporations are not honest. They're selling poison. Okay, they're starting off there. Okay, do we have the video? Okay, we got the video, and this is like just one of the things you're going to find even more of on YouTube because I'm going to I want to start educating people on what I see when I see a commercial because a lot of it is tricking you and lying to you, and I'm going to be calling them out on just what they're doing. So go ahead, play it, Nick. Okay, and the first part of this 
is me like talking about the nutritional values, which this product is full of GMOs, and we're talking seven teaspoons of sugar per per unit of this product. Yep. Okay, here we go. This is a Walmart commercial, everyone. Whoa. Twinkies. Hostess deep fried Twinkies, a hot, gooey, and yummy treat. Four seventy six. Save money, live better. Oh, save money, live better at Walmart. Just love that message. And then the rest of the, the video that we have on YouTube has a lot of other important information about advertising to our kids and what we should be doing about it. So this is the kind of educational thing that I really want to get out there because our shopping dollars are key to saving your life as far as like diet environment. Um, and we're going to be talking about cleaners today too because it turns out that a lot of the toxins we're exposed to happen indoors, and it makes sense. And I tell you, my neighbor was spraying pesticides, and it drifted right over into my house, into my living room. I almost passed out. That is why we have to really start this conversation. We have to talk to our neighbors again. We have to share information. And, of course, Ask the Bug Man is our go-to guy. If you need alternatives to pesticides, just go find him on Facebook. Ask the bug man, okay? You can get a book from him for 25 bucks. It's like a roadmap on how to deal with all the nasties that we don't want bothering us in our home, um, in our life. And he has solutions that aren't even toxic at all. And if you got a problem and you just can't figure it out, guess what? Once you buy that book, Richard Fagerlin, he will be there for the rest of his life for you to consult and give you free consulting and to help you get through it. I mean, where do you find a deal like that? And why does he do that? Because he cares about you guys too, just like me. <laughs> and he cares about families and he cares about people getting poisoned and getting sick. So yeah, this is the kind of people we have on our show here. And we've got great interviews. I was just posting today our interview from Maggie's Organics. I so love that company. Go look them up. Not only do they have some fashion items that are like super comfortable and interchangeable, but uh, that are made from organic cotton, but they have organic cotton socks, but they have the merino uh, wool, which is a very special wool that, um, I mean, everything is accountable all along the supply chain for them. They have been working with people in these other countries for a very long time in the U.S. Um, and they have a strong supply chain and they have changed these people's lives as well. Uh, but these wool socks, once you put them on, you will just want to wear them all the time. You <laughs> never want to take them off. I mean, they are co so cozy and so delicious on your feet. Um, so Maggie's Organics, and looking for, you know, you're looking for, those of you that are early shoppers looking for Christmas gifts, I tell you, you give people those socks, they will never forget you for it. It will be their number one favorite pair of socks, I guarantee. <laughs> give them several pair, they'll like it. I got some kind of knee socks from them to go under boots that are organic cotton, and they were so cool. And then Pact, P-A-C-T, is another company that makes fashion items like yoga pants and stuff like that. And I got, I'm six foot tall. It's super hard for me to find things. And they had some yoga pants on sale for like $17 organic cotton. You know, I mean, you can't ask for a better deal. And I mean, I love having that organic cotton against my skin. It has nothing to do with Monsanto, no GMOs, no pesticides. And the people that make that and grow it, um, good people, and I, I enjoy supporting them. And Maggie, and she has just done, she has been doing this for decades. She is such a great person to support as well. I'd much rather support her than some of these, like, you know, big time producers. And I don't know where the heck they're getting their stuff and how they're paying their people, if they're paying them fair. She pays the people fair. And fair trade is a big part of organic. And this is so important because when I first, as a dietitian, my, my professional organization, American Dietetic Association, sent me an email and said, oh, we're partnering with Unilever. And I started doing research on Unilever. 
I'm like, who, you know, I, I know I never buy their products. I would never eat them. I would never recommend them. But, who, you know, who are these people as a country? I mean, excuse me, as a, um, well, they're almost a country. They're an international, huge international mega corporation that have their hands in all different kinds of countries where they go and manufacture things and use their resources. And well, Lipton tea, you ever heard of that? Yeah, they make that one. And what they, what do they do? What have they been known to do? Child labor. And also, there, there's when you have that big, you can actually manip, manipulate the world tea price. We're talking poor, poorest of the poor people, you know, out there growing this tea. And that tea that they produce is everything to them. That could be like a year's worth of wages to support their family for when they sell that tea. And they would actually manipulate the tea prices so that they had to pay less. And these are some of the reasons I say, why are we giving any dollars to these companies? I don't even want people to shop at the supermarket. For one thing, you go to a regular supermarket, especially you walk down that soap aisle, you are exposed to phytates. And this stuff is like, um, you know, hormone disruptors, majorly toxic. And, you know, you may think, oh, fabric softener, good stuff. Well, guess what? Fabric softener, why does it get rid of the static on your clothes? Why does it take out wrinkles? Well, maybe because it's like coating your clothes and those fibers in your fabric with a Teflon, excuse me, a silicon uh, type product. And so that is what it's doing. It is um, chemicals used in fabric softener manufacturing operations cover your clothes with a fine layer, fine layer of toxic lubrication that can indeed soften fabrics and render them free of static cling. Then to mask the smell of those chemicals, they add fragrances. And then they try to make you act like you should just be addicted to these fragrances, that you should be craving them. They're actually called pre-emulsified silicones. Okay? Then they have dyes in there, dyes that can be toxic, and those fragrances are the hormone disruptors. Okay? So... You know, and then what they found out is that when, you know, they're, they're in the dryer and um, the, the air is coming out of the dryer, that in that air there's um, volatile or organic compounds that are being produced that are going to, into that air, and then you're, like, breathing this stuff. So, you know, personally, I have been in search of the perfect laundry soap uh, the perfect cleaning products. And like they have, um, then I found out like these other um, other cleaning products. Okay, well they have like these special, um, they were like using this one kind of chemical in there uh, that was, that was, um, but unfortunately it like exploded red blood vessels when you breathe, when you would breathe it in. It would, your red blood vessels, Blood vessels would explode, and people actually complained about that. Can you believe it? They're like, hey, I, you know, this the fact that it's exploding my red blood cells, I'm really not too happy about it. And uh, because of that, they had to change to these volatile organic compounds. And it is, um, these volatile organic compounds are, you know, they're right there just as toxic as the other products that they were using. And it's just like, okay, well, we replaced it, but we didn't even replace it with something that was that was useful. Oh, you know what? All my, I don't know if all my... Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize it, but, like, I, I had my printer do front and back printing, and I didn't even realize that I told it to do that. I'm like, what happened? You know, when you do that, you save paper. <laughs> It's actually, it's a, it's a really good eco-friendly thing to do. See all the things that we teach you on our show. We, what do we teach you so far? We've been teaching you about what's really in your fabric softener, teaching you about the really good Halloween candy to buy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you go to our resources section. We have entire pages with all the coolest candy 
I tell you, and you can like find this stuff on Amazon or like Sprouts. Um, but you know what? I even like their website, you know, the people's website. Uh, like I told you, Tori and Howard, you want to go to a magical website. You go to their website. We've got like hot air balloons floating and butterflies flying around and it's like such a cool website. And the people behind this are like some of my favorite people. I really like them. And let's make this an organic Halloween, people. God, just I I'm telling you, I gotta give you a tip on it. Okay, I told you about Tori and Howard, but I'm gonna give you another tip. Okay, Justin's. Now, I'm not too happy with Justin because he sold out. And they, since he sold out, they're turning a lot of his products from organic to non-organic. But you can still get Justin's peanut butter cups. And they're all organic peanut butter cups. And he's got the little mini ones all completely wrapped and everything to put in the Halloween trick-or-treat bags um, and to have for your parties. And, you know, to, like, treat people at work, you know, stuff like that. So um, those peanut butter cups, I'm telling you, they are the friggin' bomb. Okay, and what are some other products, you know, that I'd like to recommend to you guys as far as the laundry soap goes? I'm going to get to that because we were just talking about cleaning products have, like, i got to figure out uh, what part of the back page that this went to. Um, that I had about this because we're going to be talking about uh, propylene glycol as well and I tell you that stuff is in a lot of things and what I started learning about propylene gly glycol and what it's doing to our gut just uh, really really got me upset okay um, okay yeah I'm going to get into that next. Okay, first we're going to talk about laundry soap here. Nellies, 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 Nellies. I remember it because it kind of sounds like a horse. <laughs> you know, Nelly. <laughs> um, but they're from Canada. Unfortunately, it's not an American company. But this product is gets like 10 stars from me because it's the best laundry product cleaning product I have ever used it doesn't have all those volatile organic compounds and stuff that you have to worry about breathing it's going to explode it's not going to explode your blood vessels okay and the laundry soap it's powder they don't use any liquid they said it's stupid to transport water all over the country and that's what um, a lot of these liquid soaps are and so they have a powder they come in a metal tin and you can one hundred. It's one hundred percent recyclable metal tin. This kind of metal is one hundred percent recyclable. That's why you always want to put that in your recycle bin. But there, what I like about their products is it smells like nothing. There's no perfume in it whatsoever. It smells more like my grandmother's sheets that she used to hang outside. I don't need some fake fragrance to make it smell like oh, fresh air. <laughs> I just, I just want my clothes to smell clean. And I tell you, I got a man in my house, and when he's out working in the yard, that shirt, that shirt can hold odor. And this stuff, I just put it in with the Oxy stuff that they have. They have an Oxy product. I use it for so many things. I am going to do a video on, like, the 25 different things that I use this oxy product for and I put the laundry soap and the oxy product product and it's just a powder and you can still use it I'm kind of mad because it's like I got a new washing machine a whirlpool but it's like it's not designed for powder detergents they make everything designed for liquid and so it's kind of intimidating you think oh man I can't use my powder but yes you can use your powder, and it's good for the HE for, like, low suds. It doesn't even make any suds. I use their dishwashing soap in just to wash dishes in my tub or your sink because it doesn't have suds, and it makes everything so clean, and it gets the fingerprints off and everything. And when you don't have suds, you use less water. Because when you got lots of suds to rent, you have to rinse off the dishes, you actually end up using more water. So that's another reason that I like using it, even just for everyday dishes. But there's many other things that I have found 
for Nellings, but I got to tell you, that is the bomb. And you don't, no perfumes, nothing. But I'll give you the hint here because all of us want to save money, and that's what I'm about. I want you to have enough extra money so you can go buy organic food because you're saving on this other stuff that you would normally buy. And that Tide is so friggin' expensive. And I have in here somewhere in my notes some new chemical that they're putting in their friggin' Tide. Uh, detergent, but you don't need that. You don't need any of that stuff. You go to the net. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon uh, for sure, but this is how you want to do it. You go to their website and they have bulk, big containers. Save your money and buy the bulk, but sign up for the newsletter and they send you 25% off. Then you buy the bulk and I'm telling you, it's such a freaking deal. And like I kept buying these little tins, but I had saved them because I thought I could make them into planters or something <laughs> and recycle them. And it turned out now when I get the bulk container, I just fill up all my little tins and I'm like good for like months. I don't even have to think about buying laundry soap. I love it. And plus I told you I use this for a bunch of other things, so I don't even have to buy other cleaners because it's so versatile. This is how we get smart and save our dollars and have enough money to buy higher quality food instead of this cheap stuff that's subsidized and just full of like soy and corn. And I'm telling you, what I learned about corn, oh my gosh, the, the GMO corn, we're hearing about all these tariffs and we just gave the farmers $50 billion to make up for what these tariffs are doing to them. We have bet our entire agriculture system on GMOs. And so what's happening, you know, that you know that the corn that we're growing, it is like over 40% of it is used in biofuel. And then like another 30% is used for uh, like high fructose corn. Sir. I mean, we, we virtually, oh, it's used for like animal feed and other products that they make out of the, actually they make a product that they feed bacteria that they make drugs out of. Um, bottom line is we're growing all this stuff and we're not eating any of it. We're using it for all these other things. I want organic food grown in this country, in the masses. I want to support our farmers. We just had uh, Dr. Charles Benbrook. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have, um, shoot, I wanted, to, I wanted to play that one, too, if I could get to it here. Figures. Um, yeah, Dr. Dr. Benbrook, uh, he is, you know, he was uh, testifying at the Monsanto trial. He's one of our top scientists. And he had some, um, he had some pretty you know, pretty dismal uh, things to say about our farmers. And I just sent that to you, Nick, if you want to uh, pull that up. We could play, um, this is, the, the what Dr. Benbrook, it really got me thinking. Uh, I am so worried about our farmers. We bet all this, they put everything into these GMOs and it's destroyed their land. They become totally dependent on these chemicals. They can't grow without it. It's pretty much zombie plants is what they're growing. They ha they need an IV of chemicals to be alive, and that's what they feed them. Um, they pretty much destroy this farmland, but we need to help the farmers, not with just handing them $50 billion. We need to take $50 billion and invest it in regenerative agriculture that's going to bring those lands back and give these farmers a chance to make money, you know? Um, the, and the farm bill, too. You know, we all have to be paying attention to this farm bill. Are we ready? Okay, this is what Dr. Benbrook had to say about our farmers. How do we help farmers do that? Do we educate them on transitioning to new, new teach them, like, new types of farming methods? Sustainable agriculture as well, opposed to help them make are, more money. No. Large, large-scale corn, soybean, cotton farmers that have been planting genetically engineered seeds and relying on Roundup uh, for the last 20 years—they they are in a very tough uh, 
bind. They're dealing with a number of glyphosate resistant weeds in their fields right now that are very costly and difficult to control. They're um, having to pay extra money now for um, seeds that are genetically engineered to tolerate either dicamba or 2,4-D, two other, uh, the, the two other herbicides that, um, uh, that are, are now becoming much more widely used, especially in the Midwest. And these are, these are old school herbicides that we've known yeah, for 40 Vietnam, years. Vietnam, man. Birth defects, <laughs> reproductive problems, and cancer. And yet, yeah. these are the old, this is the old chemistry that we're going back to to uh, give these farmers a, a way to deal with the glyphosate resistant weeds it's like it's kind of a, it's a losing proposition it's um, you know oh, like God, pouring just... gasoline on a fire to put it out well we need to we need to put some money towards helping these farmers and not just throwing tariffs out there <laughs> yep that's what we got to do, everyone. We need to start helping our farmers and spending our money wisely. You know, what is that $50 billion being spent on? Anyway, are they just sending farmers checks? Um, you know, what is the whole process on how we're spending this money? When we could be doing, we could be starting to transition these farmers over to regenerative agriculture where they don't need GMOs, they don't need pesticides, and they increase their profits by 76%. I cannot say it enough. Because... This will decide we can offset all the carbon we are producing in this country. There's, we, we have already spent too much oil. We are on the road to no return right here with global warming because we have already decided we are going to burn this much oil over so many years, and that is taking us down the road to no return. The only hope we have is to offset the oil that we know we're going to be burning. Well, how do we do that? By grazing our animals, get them out of these factory farms, put them back on the pasture, and by transitioning to sustainable regenerative agriculture. That is how we do it, everyone. We can, and by, by supporting organic farmers. Go and buy locally. I tell you, I get everything from my local farmer practically. Very few things I get from the store. Uh, products I like, oh, here's a product I wanted to recommend, Trader Joe's Organic Raw Honey. Uh, unfortunately, Cadia, which is what um, Clark's has, it's filtered. It may be organic raw honey, but it's filtered. It's different when it's filtered. When it's filtered, it takes all the good stuff out. This is not filtered, and you know how I know? It's grainy. It, when it's grainy, it's not filtered. You want raw, organic honey, people. Um, and I tell you, that's, that's a good sugar right there. That's what I put in my tea. But speaking of tea, I wanted to share with you guys. I'm so excited about, I've talked about this before probably, but I really wanted to kind of get into it. Numi is one of my very favorite companies. Um, they make organic tea. It comes from all over the world. This uh, puree tea comes from plants that are 500 years old. 500 year old tea plants. It's just amazing to me. And it's from a super remote part of China uh, where they get these tea leaves. And um, it has, a, they ferment the tea leaves. They ferment them, which when you're fermenting things, we're, we're just finding out about how beneficial all these fermented things are. When we ferment, we create a bacteria that's a beneficial bacteria for our guts. And this is why I'm going to be talking about propylene glycol and how it's in all these different foods that you're eating. And they're using it for people that go and get a colonoscopy. And when you get a colonoscopy, you may be changing your butt gut bacteria forever. And it may never be the same again. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about that. But first, I just want to talk about this tea because we have so many people addicted to sugar, to sweet, to super sweet with all these artificial um, sweeteners of which um, artificial sweeteners, here we got Splenda. Splenda is basically a pesticide. It has three chlorine molecules that have been added to it Chlorine is a carcinogenic uh, substance, and Splenda, when I tried it, because years ago, because I'm a dietitian, I had a, 
I had to know, you know, is what is this stuff? I got a metallic taste in my mouth. I could not even taste anything but this metallic taste. And then I was swimming in a pool full of chlorine. And guess what? I got the same metallic taste in my mouth. I'm like, I, I've never had this before except when I used Splenda, which happens to have chlorine in it. And I'm just like, whoa. <sighs> when that happened, I'm just like, man, that stuff, that uh, Surgeon General Coop called it a pesticide. I never forgot that. I heard him call it, and now it is obvious to me why he did aspartame under our resources section we have a huge information page on aspartame and just how toxic aspartame is please do not think you're doing a great thing by buying a low sugar product with aspartame in it and giving it to your child um, I read you know one doctor he'd gotten diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease uh, I've heard of other people with neurological diseases MS that have been on the super big gulp diet soda routine, okay? Please, just organic sugar, organic honey, less of it. And that's why I'm talking about this tea because you know what? I'm right there with you. I love black tea with lots of sugar in it. <laughs> like, I was just like, ever since I was a kid, I used to sneak it even. I wasn't allowed to have tea, I would sneak it. Are you like that too, Nick? I am. I'm a big tea drinker, actually. Okay. Big time. Uh, really? Yeah. I'm so glad to learn that if, about you. If you were to go into our cabinet, uh, my wife and I's, you'll see at least maybe 15 different kinds of teas. Wow. That's great. So you're going to love my advice. Well, new me is so incredible. All their products that they make, new me, choice, um, those are two of my very favorite companies. Choice was the number one organic. It was the first organic tea company in America, and it was started by a woman, oh, no and I have a great interview with her on our YouTube, if you go subscribe, everyone. Okay, now this tea, this one, the Chocolate Puree, now they have an Emperor's per, per I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but how you spell it, P-U hyphen a dot, E-R-H, really hard. That's probably how I would pronounce I it, <laughs> we, we might both be wrong, but... Okay, well, the Emperor's Puree, you know, it has an earthy taste because they ferment it in it, so it has this extra, like, probiotics on there. Um, but the, this one, the chocolate one, the chocolate puree, okay? Because I have been trying to wean myself off of sugar in my tea because I will save massive amounts of calories that way. Plus, I, you know, it's not good for your teeth and, and all that. So I was trying to, like, less sugar... Um, and like tea without any sugar, actually. I was really trying to do that. This tea, for some reason, it's so satisfying just to drink it, you know, as it's cooling after making the hot cup of tea. Of course, it's, you know, now it's coming the perfect time of the year for that, although I do it year round. Um, but just something about drinking this tea that it was just so satisfying without sugar. And I was like, wow, I can't believe I'm, I'm actually enjoying this cup of tea because usually I'm just like, I want the sugar. I want the sugar. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, you know, because I didn't get my sweet fix. But this one, new me chocolate puree. You get, it's all organic. They're the only non-GMO tea bag because some of these companies are using tea bags, synthetic, they're, they look like, nylon they're made from gmo corn so um we really appreciate numi has done absolutely everything they possibly can to be the very best company and give us the very best product and i think they deserve to be rewarded with our dollars and not you are not going to regret it whatsoever they have so many different varieties um but this one is definitely my favorite <laughs> okay other types of products that can change your life okay um i have oh well i never mentioned tori and howard's little hard candies five calories each they're all wrapped individually they have great flavors if you have a sweet tooth and you don't want to grab something that's like two or three hundred calories 
go for the little five calorie Tori and Howard hard candy, okay? Now, another product that can change your life is Essential Oxygen. I tell you, this company is just, they, they have saved me in so many ways. I'm going to go into it later. Um, other products they have and how they've, I mean, um, I really think that I, I have like some rare disease. I'm going to get on a registry, but as a result of that, um, they have helped me so much. I, don't, I just don't even know. It really did change my life. And this brushing rinse, they have a toothpaste and their, um, their, their mouthwash, uh, which has hydrogen peroxide in it. For those of you suffering loose teeth, uh, receding gums, bleeding gums. I mean, this is a serious situation. You do not want to lose your teeth. You have to deal with this problem. It is like major um, infection in your mouth. And this can also lead to heart disease because that bacteria can travel to your heart, cause a in inflammation around your heart that can lead to pericarditis or some other horrible disease, okay? Um, brushing rinse, this stuff is just so freaking good. Um, it doesn't taste bad. Like so many of these other things, especially with hydrogen peroxide, it's like, ew, ew, I can't do this on a regular basis. It's too freaking nasty. And I am so picky. I cannot even tell you. With toothpaste, I have not even used toothpaste for years. I use clay on my teeth. I will not brush with toothpaste. And I kept knowing that there was something in there. You know that chemical I was talking about earlier? That cleansing, the cleaning product chemical? They were putting it in the toothpaste along with triclosan, which they've been phase, they phase slowly, secretly, you know, phase those out because they're so bad. They were, uh, the triclosan was causing antibiotic resistant bacteria to be formed. And they were putting it in soaps for your hands and saying, oh, this is good. Oh, Colgate. Oh, Colgate, you know, or Listerine kills all the bacteria with triclosan, which was causing antibiotic resistant bacteria and was toxic, okay? And they were getting away with it. And you've been buying those products and using it and you didn't even know, okay? I knew. I could taste it in there and I'm like, I'm not using this, this stuff. Well, their toothpaste is the first tooth toothpaste that I've used in years. It's an organic, it's certified organic toothpaste. Their mouthwash, all the ingredients, the herbs and everything that they use in there, which you can't even taste, is all organic. So good. The other product I absolutely love is EcoDent. And they have, um, their mouthwash is like super strong. It's got like I don't know, cloves or I don't know, stuff in there that's heavy duty. So if you got like really bad receding gums and loose teeth, do a combo of the EcoDent and the brushing rinse. And I tell you, you will get results. Um, but you got to do it got to do it. But I'm going to tell you another thing later on how you can even do another uh, treatment. Okay, now, ethylene, um, excuse me, polyethylene glycol um, is people are given a drink before they have a colostomy that is full of it, okay? New research is coming out that once you do this treatment, your gut microbes are changed forever. There's one microbe that is normally, you have a whole bunch of, it goes extinct afterwards. Not just that, but this is something that causes you to hold a lot of water and um, it causes an osmotic situation inside your gut. Now, Miralax, that also has um, this in it. There's actually uh, several different products. Uh, let's see if I can even find that here. Uh, that ha have this in it. But you need to look at the ingredients. I got lots of other products that it's in, but I wanted to talk about the colostomy thing. When you do that, it's just it's destroying your gut bacteria, and it may never even be the same again. They're actually finding some gut bacteria help you lose weight. Yeah. They're finding people that lose weight easier have a certain kind of gut bacteria. And um, those that don't lose weight have more of this other kind that actually sabotages you. You become, first of all, you're not digesting all your food. So you eat an apple, and if you have the good bacteria, 
you're digesting the apple in a certain way where there's hardly anything left. But we have bacteria that take what's left that we can't digest, and they start to work on breaking it down. Well, it's those bacteria that can actually be so efficient at creating calories that they're sabotaging you, that you're absorbing more calories from your food because of this upset in the bacteria in your gut. There are so many products, um, everything from ice cream, flavored iced teas, packaged frosting, boxed cake mixes, commercial food coloring, salad dressings. Everything Edamons makes has it, okay? <laughs> Uh, dog and cat food, uh, margarine, uh, Gatorade, uh, well, soft drinks, they can have it in there, but it may, they may not list it, and they may be just putting little amounts in there because it is really important to their not keeping things uh, mixed up in there. Um, deodorants. I mean, then you get into, like, paints and all these other things that this chemical is used in. I mean... I'm going to have to come back and talk about more of this because we're running out of time. Um, but I just wanted to bring to your attention, you know, that we can't, they've been saying, oh, don't worry. No, that doesn't cause any problem. But yet I found studies where they're talking about how this stuff is able to shed cancer cells from your gut. If it's shedding cancer cells like chemotherapy, what is it doing to a healthy gut? Oh. Okay, see why I have to worry about you guys. See why I have to do this show. There are so many people that want to compromise your health, but not us at Smart Health Talk. And you could please, our podcasts go up on uh, iHeartRadio, so share them with your friends. Please do that and subscribe to us and check out our website and our social media. Join us on Twitter. Oh, I actually had a quarter of a million impressions on Twitter <laughs> on one tweet. <laughs> okay, so find us, everyone. Uh, I'm Elaine McBad, and I really want to thank you all for joining us uh, today. Bye-bye. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 106.1.